Hello, Rob here from the RC Pilots Log. A few videos back when I wanted to break in the NGH GT25 gas engine for my Citaria project, I managed to smoke the Matek Ubeck Duo I'm using by reversing the polarity. A stupid mistake. But the replacement is here, so it's time to get it up and running. The Matek Ubeck Duo takes a 7 to 26 volt input and outputs it on two regulated channels, one 5 volt constant and the other an adjustable 5 to 12 volt switchable, both with a max current of 4 amps. I'll use the constant 5 volt to power my Flysky FTR10 receiver and the other as a kill switch to the engine's ignition. After soldering on an XT30, plugging in the receiver, programming a new model on the Flysky Palladium PL18, and setting up an auxiliary switch to activate the UBEC second output, we're set. So I'm powering the UBEC Duo from a 3 cell LiPo via an XT30. Output 2, 5 volts, powers the FTR10 receiver channel 7 of which is connected to the UBEX AUX input and switches output 1 with a jumper set to 5 volts. Output 1 will power the NGH GT25's Rexo ignition. It all works marvellously. On my engine test stand, which is all very Heath Robinson, I've connected everything and checked it all for stupid. The 12 ounce Dubro fuel tank is filled with a 20 to 1 fully synthetic oil and petrol mix. I'm using a Turnergy fuel pump, which broke after first use, so I removed the PCB and switches and now power the pump motor directly from the battery. The replacement is still unopened in its box. As I've set up a new model on the PL18, I need to adjust the throttle and trim. After a quick throttle test, I'm ready to fire it up. Spinning the engine over with the starter motor, there's plenty of fuel flowing, possibly too much, and some air bubbles. This will only be the third run of the engine, so it's not broken in yet, let alone tuned. This could be why I struggle to get it to splutter with the choke close and the ignition on. Once she's fired up, the goal is for a couple of 15 minute low RPM break in runs and of course to test using the UBEC Duo as an ignition kill switch. Once broken in, I can get off the messy 20 to 1 fuel mix and tune the engine at low and high RPM. But before that, there's 4 to 6 hours of braking flying to be done. Thanks for watching, stay safe and happy flying.